And I have just a yes or no question I'd like to, to ask of uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Gelber. Uh, as you heard, there are many bipartisan concerns and questions about the GSA decision to end the procurement process for the consolidation of this headquarters. And I imagine we won't have uh, time to answer all those questions today. In fact, I'm sure we won't have time to ask or to hear answers from all these questions today. And I'm just asking you on a yes or no basis, do you commit to fully respond to questions for information from any member of this committee so that we can perform our oversight duties? Yes or no? GSA will respond to questions from the chair, yes. Only the chair? Uh, GSA's <laughs> response will be in line with the current administration's policy on responding to oversight. Let me just say something, if I could. I always say this to my Republican colleagues as well. How would you like it if the Democrats had the White House, the majority in the House, and the majority in the Senate, and we had an administration with the policies that said, we're not going to respond to your questions when you try to do your oversight? You would be outraged. This is outrageous. We cannot stand for this. Our job is to do oversight. And for our colleagues to sit here and just listen to this, I can't, I can't believe this. Golden rule, treat other people the way you want. How would you like to be treated that way? Well, you wouldn't like it. We need to hear your voices on this. This is outrageous. Senator Rounds. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I agree with Senator Carper. We did not like it. Um, let me begin just by asking. Can I, can I just interrupt for a moment? And I, I want to say, I spent a whole lot of time with the last administration trying to make sure your questions from the Republican side were answered, a lot of time, and I think with some success. 